Sometimes I feel this way. Anyway, I praise the Lord for being here. What He's brought me through. What I know as long as I keep holding on to His hand. Just a minute, He's going to continue to carry me farther. And I praise Him for that. <clears throat> I have a message that I've had for at least three months. And as I look out over this congregation, it could, uh, to me it could not be for one of you. I don't know why he's having me preach this, but I am. A uh, few weeks ago, almost a month, someone came into our house and they brought somebody's name up and they said, uh, ain't that right, Mom? Mom didn't say nothing. Sat there. Somebody, one of the other ones said something did, you know, right, added to it. And they said, whatever you got to say, I said, I ain't got nothing to say, I ain't saying nothing. He says, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. Amen. And I had done that, Billy. All my Christian life, I've heard that scripture, I've known that scripture, I've testified that scripture. They said, Mom, we can't believe this. I said, well, if, you know, you better believe it. Because he told me to keep my mouth shut, Reese. Come on. Now I want to go to First Chronicles 15, I mean 16, verse 15 through 22. Well, 16, I guess. Even if the covenant which he made with Abraham and of his oath unto Isaac, and hath confirmed the same to Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, I will give the land of Cana the lot of your inheritance. When you were but a few, even a few, strangers came in. And that when they went from nation to nation and from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do the wrong unto them. Yea, he reproved the kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. Saying unto the Lord for all of the earth and show forth from day to day this, this salvation, his salvation. You know, we have to watch. I have to watch, we see. Very, very carefully about what I say about people. Yeah. This ain't really screaming all I'm preaching. It's preaching that needs to be sunk in. Come on. Uh, Y'all know me. I'm usually a little more fast talking, but I can't read too good anyway. So uh, let's go to John 21, 15 through 23. Fifteen through twenty-three. So when they had dined, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord. Thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonah, lovest thou me? And he said, Yea, Lord. Thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Jonah, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved, and because he was unto him the third time, thou lovest me. And all he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, Feed my sheep. Verily, verily, I say unto you, when they was but young, when thou goest thou self, and walkest whither thou wouldest, but when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hands, and no another shall go thee and carry thee whither thou wouldest. When I read, when I wouldest not, when I read that scripture, I thought he just kind of prophesied to Peter right there. Amen. Because he said, when he was young, you went where you could go. Yeah. He said, but when you get older, somebody's going to have to help you dress. And Come on. I, I never seen that till today. They're going to have to help you dress and get you there because you're going to you can't do it by yourself. So that was kind of the prophecy that y'all might not think of, but I think this spoke he signifying by what death he should glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he said unto him, Follow me. Then Peter, turning about, said to the disciple, Whom Jesus loveth, following. 
which leaned on Jesus' breast at supper and said, Lord, which is he that betrayed thee? Peter seeing him said to Jesus, Lord, what shall this man do? Jesus said unto him, If I will that he carry till I return, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. Then went this saying the Lord that among the brethren that the disciples should not die. Yet Jesus did not say they should not die. He did not say they were not tarried till he came. He said, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow me. And when I was reading these scriptures, I said, Dad, but one thing I know that he's telling me to do, two things, is Nancy, you keep your mouth shut Come on. and follow Jesus. Keep yeah. your mouth shut about the ones that you see going out here, and uh, maybe I don't like what they're doing. But I know God had an anointing on the life. I know without a doubt they have an anointing to do something for the Lord. I may not like what they're doing, Billy, but he said, shut I said, so you said, shut up, well, <laughs> kind of did. He said, follow thou me. Yeah. Follow that way. Yeah. You know? And uh, Brother Kenny, just a minute up, but they was, uh, he was down there a few weeks ago at uh, Brother Harry's. Somewhere over in Numbers, I never did figure out. They had come against Joshua and Aaron, and they weren't supposed to, run, I think it was right, wasn't it, Sister Minnie? Yeah. And he said, what it is, they wouldn't, they kept continuing to come against him until the earth came up right. and shut them. Yeah. Shut them up in there. I don't know about what y'all, I don't reach it up no earth. Come on. At all. <laughs> but anyway, I don't have very much tonight, been real sick. And I'm backed out, got back in <laughs> just today. But what if we do? We need to watch what we speak. Amen. If we do. When, when my daughter, she said, Mom, but you, you know, and they, yeah, I knew, I knew what they said was true. But God said, keep my mouth shut. Yeah. They said, Mama said, we could tell you changed, but this is a change. <laughs> And I'm not breaking on my ear, but I'm just saying, he said, follow thou me. And so that's what I'm going to try to do, is follow me, follow him. Honey, if we follow Jesus like we should, we ain't going to have time to sit around and talk about us. Come on, amen. We ain't going to have time to get out here and, and do about everything our own business and spend the time on our knees and doing what God tells us to do. Really, that's all I've got. Amen.